Guys, subscribe and turn notifications on, leave a like and drop a comment down below. Get here first and win giveaway codes I will pin as first comment on some of my videos. Be fast and good luck. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you the latest news surrounding the game, the future and what it beholds, including hints at the last word returning. Maybe even a fawn and many of our old exotics. But before we go any further, guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support, you can by hitting that like button. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so firstly, let's cover news on us continuing our journeys as guardians with future DLCs. Via their Blizzard website, the following information is mentioned via the annual pass page. Continue your adventure with annual pass. Alongside seasonal updates and live events available to every Destiny 2 player, Forsaken annual pass provides bonus rewards and introduces free premium content releases anticipated in Winter 2018, Spring 2019 and Summer 2019. Each release delivers new experiences to Destiny 2, Forsaken, including activities, in-game content, and an arsenal of powerful weapons, armor, and gear to earn. The Destiny 2 Forsaken annual pass, content, and rewards will be delivered between launch of Destiny 2 Forsaken and August 31st, 2019. Annual pass, free premium content releases featuring new activities, in-game content, and an arsenal of powerful weapons, armor, and gears to earn. Black Armory. Discover weapons of light and fury. Add the Black Armour's treasure to your legend. Black Armour will be delivered over the course of the season of the Forge from December 4th to March 4th. This includes access to the Black Armour, new activity, the Lost Forges, the new raid, which is a raid lair they're talking about here, exotic weapons, quests, triumphs and collections. Joker's World, Gambit was only the beginning and the Drifter is ready to deal you another deadly hand. Joker's World will be delivered over the course of Season of the Drifter in Spring 2019. More details to come. Penumbra, only the brave will learn what lurks in the shadows, only the strong will survive its teeth. Penumbra will be delivered over the course of the season of the shadow in 2019 of summer. More details to come. Now from this size the details more of us already know about these DLCs, we actually get release dates for future DLCs too, plus the name of that third season, now confirmed to be season of the shadows. So we will see Black Armory, which will be season 5 and it will be Season of the Forge. This runs until March 4th, from December 4th. March 5th is a Tuesday. This is when Joker's Wild DLC will be released, and with it, Season of the Drifter. This will run from March 5th until June 3rd. Season of the Drifter, with the Joker's Wild DLC, much like the Season of the Forge, will again run for three months, until June 3rd. June 4th will be when the third DLC drops, Penumbra, and with it Season of the Shadow. Again, this will run for around that three month time, until as mentioned on the Blizzard website, the Destiny 2 Forsaken annual pass content and rewards will be delivered between the launch of Destiny 2 Forsaken and August 31st, 2019. This is when I believe we might get another major expansion come through. But yeah guys, the dates are here, mark your calendars. So yeah guys, the expansion pass through DLCs are believed to be, well we know the first one drops on December 4th, the next one then will be March 5th, and then we will get one on June 4th. So mark your calendars, people! Now after these, I believe we may see another season pass announced, or depending on the sales of the pre-DLC expansions. If Black Armory, Joker's World and Penumbra boost numbers, I definitely expect to see another expansion pass announced. Let's hope what they offer is good enough. Many among our community don't see them offering content that can last the months between each, but I don't entirely agree. If we go off Luke Smith's tweet, it in my opinion suggests they are concentrating on pleasing the hardcore fanbase more than anything. If that is the case, expect a more meaningful grind to be dropped with these expansions. Because as much as the Forsaken can change the game, Destiny 2 DLC wise, these three expansions can't possibly be the size of the Forsaken. But simple changes and introductions can definitely lengthen the DLC, which then in turn would please the hardcore fanbase more so in my opinion. Okay, so we're going to move on guys. Now this I suggest you take with a pinch of salt. I mean, it's all speculation at this point, but it's definitely fun to discuss. Now we have had many leaks over the past few months. We have had, to be honest, leaks from certain sources being 95% accurate, weeks prior to said details actually becoming reality. One of the best sources of leaks as of late is someone called Ananda9. His information, as far as I recall, has been the best in terms of becoming factual. 
Said leaker also states all the exotics will return with such DLCs. The last word, the fawn, the icebreaker have all been said to be coming back. We all know the last word is among the most wanted exotic to return. Everyone talks about it. I'm pretty certain Bungie have seen said hype surrounding a possible return. But guys, and this is a big but, this is where shit gets interesting. Because absolutely zero info on the return of the last word has been mentioned by Bungie. Zero. Nothing at all. Nada. But official images from Bungie of future DLCs suggest something entirely different. Now we know Bungie like to hide easter eggs, it's common sense nowadays people, we all know this. So let's check out this image. This is an official image by the way. Now it's the background in which we need to check out in more detail. We see what looks to be guardians facing off. Yeah, no big deal at all. But not until you see the weapons they look to be using. And straight up guys, my eyes are drawn to this one right here. Look at that hand cannon, look at the way he's holding it. His free arm coming across his body to cock that hammer. As far as I know, the last word is the only weapon in Destiny to do this, especially hand cannon wise. And that's what looks to be happening here to me. I mean, like I said, everyone has called for the return of the beast. I think it's quite possible we will get the last word eventually. But does this prove it? No, not at all. But was this image an accident? No, it wasn't. That weapon that Guardian's obviously using is modelled off something. Is this Bungie hinting at the return of the last word? Are they hiding this here on purpose for us to speculate over? Well, it's working. It could be, people, but we will see. Okay, so another weapon I've seen here which definitely reminds me of another old exotic, and that is the Monte Carlo. Remember that auto rifle? Well, check this out. Here we see a weapon with that bayonet attached. Now, I will say, yeah, the Red Death also had similar features. So does the Duty Band and even the Crimson. But look at the sharp edges this weapon has here. These sharp angles don't match anything of that of the Red Death, the Crimson or the Duty Pound. But are almost identical to the Monte Carlo. Take a look when compared people. Again, does this mean the Monte Carlo is set to return? No it does not. But again, Bungie could be dropping hints here. The sneaky bastards. Now I've had a look to see if I can find any other weapons here. Some do look familiar. We can see one shape like the Fawn here. But the Malfi sense is basically the same shape there, so I won't cover that, even though it has been leaked to be returning sometime or another. But yeah, guys, check out the image. Tell me if you spot anything interesting. Let me know your findings down below within that comments section. But yeah, people, hints, hints, hints. Now we need facts, facts, facts. Do you want the last word to return? Drop a like on the video if you do. Also, guys, massive shout out to My Life Crisis for helping me out decorating the image with the last word. Massive shout out to him. His channel can be found linked within the video description. Do go check him out and show him some love. But on that note, guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really does help me out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos in the form of news, leaks, top fives, gameplays, reviews, absolutely everything, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to turn notifications on but again guys thanks for stopping by and hopefully i will see you on that next one always in the wrong knowing where we stay